Okay, we're here at Cereals and I'm with uh, Eric Watson from New Zealand and Rod Smith from Northumberland and uh, we're going to discuss some high wheat yields. Um, Eric has just broken the world record with his yield of 16.791 um, and Rod about 18 months ago um, had a yield of 16.52. Now just looking at these, um, how these yields were achieved, there are a lot of similarities, but Eric, I notice you, I mean, you're farming in South Island, New Zealand, just below Canterbury, but a couple of things I, I noted, you know, using quite low seed rates and you're using irrigation. You're irrigating about 50 millimetres of water in the summer. Are, th are those key, and, or what do you see as key factors? Yes, the irrigation is certainly a key factor. I mean, we can't farm without irrigation over our whole farm. But, yeah, the, and the low seeding rate, I think, certainly helps. We've always been on very low seeding rates in our know, wheat growing. Because we know we can get the varieties to the diet. We a number of years per square metre that we need. Okay, and Rod, you're near the Scottish border, so you've got long, long day lengths in the su in the summer, and you've got lots of sunlight. Are, the, are those key advantages for you? Yeah, very much so. I think in 2015 we were very lucky with uh, the uh, the weather conditions. They seemed to suit us perfectly. Right. Um, there was certainly cooler conditions all the way through till till May, end of May, uh, and allowed grain fill all the way through. We kept disease um, uh, out of the crop. Uh, and the longer growing temperature, uh, the longer growing days, and the lack of high temperatures meant uh, it grew very, very, very well right. indeed. So, from both of you, the weather conditions seem to be key again. You know, we go back to weather. Yes, in our season, was we had a very, very good autumn so conditions. It's probably some of the best I've had for years. It's easy to compare a good seedbed, and then we had a mild winter. In fact, in some places, I think it was too mild. We had a cool spring. It wasn't dry, we had adequate rainfall in the spring. Uh, slightly lower solar radiation in December, which is below average. January was slightly above average, which was probably compensated for the lower average in December. Uh, and not excessively high temperatures, I think one day of approximately 30 degrees, and the rest of it was quite, it was quite a cool summer. And mostly adequate rainfall, although we did apply two blocks of 25 millimetres of irrigation. Right, okay. What, what could be the limit? I mean, you're touching 17 tonnes a hectare. I mean, do you think 17.5 tonnes per hectare is achievable in the future? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Given the right condition, I think we can achieve that. Do you think you need a bit more irrigation? Uh, it depends entirely on the season, on the summer. Right. And that's a dictating factor. And what about you, Rod? Is that, is that kind of level? Do you think you can reach that? I do think it's achievable. We're learning all the time. It's interesting talking to Eric and we're exchanging ideas about where we've gone wrong and where we could actually improve yields uh, and we're very similar in how we could achieve those. I think variable rate um, seeding will compare with, with regards to that and also think there's a correlation there with variable rate fertiliser on the same areas. Yeah and interestingly both of you are telling me that your combine yield meter is hitting over 20 tonnes a hectare yes. in certain parts of the field. Yes. So that, that does show there's the potential there mm. to hit, hit a higher level isn't it? I mean we've been, we've been variable rate spreading now for eight, eight years I think and I think that's, even, that's also evened up the field. And yeah. I think we can even it up slightly more. I think we can get a more consistent year. Right. Mm -hmm. And I've seen your fields, they always look very even when I come up to see you. You know, you're overlooking Holy Island. Yes, we're fortunate where we are, but you're right, it's um, the evenness of the field helps. But actually, it's later on when you find out when you start going through the combine, you, you then realise there's other areas that we can tweak. And this right. is what we're trying to concentrate on now. Okay, great. Okay, thanks very much. Thank you. Thanks.